The project is basically to try to come up with a framework to effectively implement privacy protection. And one of the foundational uh, things about privacy protection is something known as the Fair Information Practice Principles. And these are the hallmark uh, things that a lot of laws go to to ultimately try to figure out what rights should people have, what obligations should people have on data. And there are many different uh, versions of the Fair Information Practice Principles. And one of the things we're trying to do is pull together all these different versions and try to make sense of them all. As somebody who teaches torts, in addition to working in privacy law, of course, the great model is the restatement second of torts and now the restatement third of torts, which has had such an influential impact on the law of torts. And so the hope of my co-reporter, Dan Sullivan, and I is that we can bring some element of similar clarity to our area of law, which is information privacy law. What we try to do in our organization is to trace what information should be collected, what are some of the problems with collection and what should be done, what kind of notice should people have when that information is collected, what kind of transparency should the organizations have when they use that information, uh, and then ultimately what uh, can and can't they do with that information, what kind of decisions can they make about people and uh, how do we put all this together. But basically it tracks that uh, approach of, of what happens to this information from the time it is uh, received to ultimately the time it is destroyed. Well, I think the subject will continue to be one that's central uh, to policy and politics and our lives. And uh, due to Moore's law, which means we can have more and more powerful chips on our devices, it means more information is going to be collected. And so we're at a world now in which our refrigerators communicate with the internet. If anybody has uh, recently purchased a car after a number of years, it's shocking. You feel like Rip Van Winkle waking up in the famous story and the whole world has changed about you. So all of these new devices are wired, they phone home, they collect information about us, they track us, and this is very, inf very valuable information, and it's also information that can lead in the wrong hands to security and privacy violations. Uh, any company looking to figure out, well, what do we do? What rules do we follow? Especially companies trying to do business in many different states and around the world. Uh, how do we uh, set our policies such that we can actually effectively uh, protect privacy and steer clear of all the different potential pitfalls that we might that might happen if we have uh, something go awry, uh, and that could be both from the common law and lawsuits, all the way to various uh, regulatory agencies uh, imposing sanction, uh, and so uh, a lot of companies. Uh, very in need of, of, of guidance because there really aren't, isn't a blueprint for what to do. And, uh, we hope that we write it um, in a way that is both general enough and specific enough so that it can speak to future concerns for privacy and hopefully provide some clarity and guidance.